Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk to you about the embed code that's on Google Sites. The embed code is what you see in this box right here and the yellow icon. Note it says embed URL, not embed HTML. HTML is a longer code that is not featured in Google Sites quite yet. In order for you to embed other websites or other links, it's only going to be the embed URL. So I'm going to show you how that works. What you're going to do is on your website, you're going to, your Google site rather, you're going to click on embed URL. And when it pops up, it's going to ask you for the URL link. Okay. So let's say I want to put in class dojo. So I'm going to get that whole entire link with the HTTPS in there. Some sites work without it, but just for added, uh, if you want to add an image to it, it's best to do the HTTPS colon uh, four slash four slash. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my test website and I'm going to paste. And as you can see, that shows up with an image. So I'm going to click add. And as you can see, I can stretch that out. I can make it smaller, whatever I need to do. Um, so it can go to the site. Now, this box icon right here is going to let you know that's going to open a new tab. It's not going to uh, change your website. So you'll still be able to go to your tab. If you go into your settings, you can have some different options. You can change the title. You can just call it, let's say I'm going to call it just Class Dojo. I'm going to delete Learn All About. Class Dojo. I can decide if I want to show the title or not. And as you can see, you can faintly see it on the bottom uh, left hand corner. That's the title went away. I'm going to turn that back on. And the title comes up. I can turn off the description, turn it back on. I can decide whether I want to show the image or not. Okay. So for right now, I'm going to leave it as is for that one. So I'm going to click done. Okay, now let's say I want to put another one up. Uh, I'm going to click embed URL and I'm going to use this one for fun. I'm going to go to cnn.com and I'm going to click add. Now, again, for some sites it will do this, for others it will not. I'm going to go to my settings. I don't have any pictures to show. It all depends if, if you go to your embed and you type in, let's say, brain pop. it's not going to do it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go open up another link. Let's just go on the CNN side and I'm going to go and type in www.brainpop.com Now I'm going to highlight the HTTPS. You don't have to do it this way. If you remember just to do HTTPS colon four slash four slash, that's fine. Copy test website. Now we're going to paste that there. No, that still didn't work. So you still have to play around with it a little bit. Okay. So it, some sites may work. Some sites may not work. Now here is a workaround with that. So let's say I'm going to click on images and I'm going to Google brain pop from the images from the website. This is what they have to offer, okay? Now, you may have another uh, picture that you want to upload yourself. You can go into your Google Drive and, and find pictures in there. You can go in your albums. Again, you can search or you can search by URL. I'm going to click on this brain pop uh, square right here. Select. Okay? Now, I'm going to go to the insert link. And then I'm going to do brain pop dot com and I'm going to click apply okay so I can decide if I want to crop this uncrop it whatever I want to do maybe I want to leave the same I can change the size of it if I want to okay everything looks okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to see what this looks like so I'm going to preview it And I'm going to scroll down. There's my class dojo. There's my CNN. Here's my icon for brain pop. I'm going to click on it. And it takes me there. 
Now, as far as I know, sorry. I'm going to go back to the editing part of it. Now, as far as I know, it does not give me any type of description. So this is just an image with a link. So maybe on the side, if you want to do a text box, um, you can shrink it down, play with it, do whatever you want. This is your site to mess around with. So maybe you want to just put some information on what Brain Pop is at the, the top. And that's how you would get your links for images. So as of right now, that is the only way you can embed your information onto a site. They should be working on this feature to where you can use the HTML embed, but as of right now, that is not working. So a quick fix is doing it this way if you want to just have an image to where they can just click on the image and go to the link. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the Level Up 2 help, uh, help Squad. Thanks.